According to a U.S. Air Force media release, a team of Air Force Global Strike Command airmen launched an unarmed Minuteman III intercontinental ballistic missile equipped with a test re-entry vehicle at 12.27 a.m. Pacific Time, October 29th, from Vandenberg Air Force Base, California. Officials stated the test was planned well in advance and was not a reaction to current events. The launch calendars are built three to five years in advance, and planning for each individual launch begins six months to a year prior to launch, according to the release. Test launches are not a response or reaction to world events or regional tensions. The ICBM's re-entry vehicle traveled approximately 4,200 miles or 6,760 kilometers to the Kwajalein Atoll in the Marshall Islands. Air Force Chief of Staff General Charles Q. Brown, Jr. said in a statement, Like previous test launches, this event demonstrated the Air Force's commitment to the nation's nuclear enterprise, while ensuring the United States' nuclear deterrent is safe, secure, and effective to deter our adversaries, while assuring our allies and partners. We must continue to invest in this viable deterrent and the airmen who support this mission as part of the most responsive leg of our nuclear triad. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why American Minuteman III is still the best intercontinental ballistic missile. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. The Minuteman III family of missiles has served as the backbone of the U.S. land-based nuclear strategic force since 1962. In 1955, the Soviet Union successfully tested a hydrogen bomb, and in 1957 it launched the Sputnik satellite, surpassing the United States in rocket technology. Fearing that the Soviet Union had the ability to attack the United States with intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBM, the United States made the development of a reliable, rapid-response ballistic missile the highest priority. On February 27, 1958, the U.S. Air Force received approval from the Department of Defense to begin research and development of the new missile designated weapon system 133A called the Minuteman. On October 9, 1958, the Air Force announced its selection of Boeing as assembly and test contractor for the Minuteman missile. The weapon is tasked primarily with the deterrence role, threatening Soviet cities with a second strike countervalue counterattack if the U.S. was attacked. However, with the development of the U.S. Navy's Polaris, which addressed the same role, the Air Force began to modify Minuteman into a weapon with much greater accuracy with the specific intent of allowing it to attack hardened military targets including Soviet missile silos. The Minuteman III began development in 1964 and entered service in 1970. Its command and control lie with the Air Force Global Strike Command. America deployed around 1,000 Minutemen III by the end of the 1970s. The number shrank to around 450 by September 2017, and currently there are about 400. The U.S. military plans to keep the missiles in service until at least 2030. Over the years, it's been found that Minuteman III has been extremely reliable. It's to be noted that the missile has seen many upgrades over the years to keep them up to date. Minuteman's series of missile gained range with incremental versions with Minuteman III acknowledged to have an operational range of 8,100 miles, or 13,000 kilometers, though the exact range is classified. 
As per many analysts, the missile actually can travel as far as 9,950 miles or 16,000 kilometers depending on the warhead configuration. Minuteman 3 is designed to be launched from missile silos. A missile silo is a vertical cylindrical structure constructed underground for the storage and launching of intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBMs. These structures typically have the missile some distance below ground protected by a large blast door on top. They are usually connected physically and or electronically to a missile launch control center. Minuteman 3 missiles are regularly tested with launches from Vandenberg Air Force Base in order to validate the effectiveness, readiness and accuracy of the weapon system, as well as to support the weapon's primary purpose, nuclear deterrence. It has nearly 100% reliability. The original inertial navigation system provided it with an accuracy of about 200 meters circular error probable CEP, but an upgraded inertial guidance system gives it 120 meters CEP. This basically means that the missile can be targeted with near pinpoint accuracy even at long distance. Minuteman 3 has three stage solid fuel rocket engines. The first stage is the Theocol Tu-122. The second stage is the Aerojet General SR-19 AJ-1. And the third stage is the Aerojet Theocol SR-73 AJ-TC-1. The solid fuel missile can stand ready for extended periods of time with little maintenance. Hence, these can be launched on command without needing preparation. The President of the United States can authorize a nuclear attack from fixed command centers, such as the White House's Situation Room or also through the nuclear football. The nuclear football is a briefcase that contains codes that can be used by the President of the United States to authorize a nuclear attack while away from fixed command centers. The President is always accompanied by a military aide carrying the football. So the missiles can be launched at any time and under any circumstances. A multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle MIRV, is a ballistic missile payload containing several warheads, each capable of being aimed at different targets. MIRV allows separately targeted nuclear warheads to be sent on their independent ways after the main propulsion stages of the missile launch have shut down. This technology is very complex and greatly increases the destructive power of a missile. Minuteman 3 was the first true MIRV capable missile. It can carry a maximum of three warheads and these can be independently targeted against three different locations. It carries W78 or W87 warhead. The W78 thermonuclear warhead is the warhead used on most of the United States Minuteman 3 missiles. The W-78 has a publicly announced yield of 335 to 350 kilotons of TNT. The W-87 is an improvement on W-78. Its design includes all modern safety features. The original yield of the W-87 was 300 kilotons of TNT, but has the announced ability to be upgraded to a yield of 475 kilotons. So a single missile is capable of unleashing destructive power of around 1,000 to 1,400 kilotons of TNT. To give viewers a perspective, Little Boy atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima had a yield of 15 kilotons of TNT, and Fat Man atomic bomb that was detonated over Nagasaki had a yield of 21 kilotons of TNT. Several ICBMs have been developed and deployed by nations after Minuteman 3. This includes China's Dongfeng 41 and Russian Tolpol M. Some of these carry more MIRV, but none of the Chinese or Russian missiles have shown the reliability displayed by Minuteman 3. There is hardly any failures, and target perimeters have always been achieved during the test launches of Minuteman 3. This has been made possible by excellent maintenance and upgrades that have kept the missile updated as well as removed any existing niggles. Russia's new RS-28 Sarmat 
heavy ICBM is a step ahead of Minuteman 3, but the production has not yet started. Though the missile is planned for deployment in 2021, there is high possibility that it could be delayed like many other Russian systems. All in all, it can be said that when it comes to genuine nuclear deterrence, Minuteman 3 is still the boss and the enemy knows that it will not fail during a crunch time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.